Good evening and welcome. My name is Jordan Ritchie, Cadet Commanding Officer of the Belmont Bison NJROTC unit. Our unit was hurdled as the most improved unit in the nation. We were also recognized as the unit of achievement. At this time, please stand and remain standing as we present the colors and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please welcome to the podium Ms. Davis, Belmont's 11th and 12th grade assistant principal. Good evening. Graduates, please take your seats. Well, can we give one more round of applause for our graduates? Don't they look wonderful today? <laughs> Welcome to the commencement exercises for Belmont High School. I am Nicole Davis, assistant principal. Before we begin this joyous ceremony, we will have a few reminders. So families, please remember to turn your cell phones on silent. So if you have not done so already, please turn your cell phones on silent. We also ask that you are courteous to those that are around you. So please refrain from talking. 
Although we encourage everyone to express pride and cheer for their graduate, please keep in mind that everyone wants to hear their child's name. So at the conclusion of the ceremony, please remain in your seats while the platform and the party graduates exit the stadium. You will be able to pick up your graduate outside the doors, and at that time you will be able to take pictures. No one will be allowed on the floor after the ceremony. So I thank you for your attention. Please sit back and enjoy the commencement exercise from the city of Belmont. Thank you very much. And please welcome to the stage our senior class salutatorium, Jonathan Stepp. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the class of 2022 graduation. I want to thank all the families, teachers, admin, and graduates for being here. My name is Jonathan Stupp, and I am this year's class salutatorian. I would personally like to thank Mrs. Smith, Mr. Schicchetti, my mom, dad, and all of the teachers I have. I've had this past four years for helping me get to this point in my life. This year, and the ones before, were both fun and interesting, despite it being virtual for part of it. We have all had to overcome many obstacles, from doing the capstone, to having to switch schools, to working most of the year and skating by in our classes, to finally graduating. But in the end, we persevered and we made it to graduation and to get our diploma and finally get out of here. We now get to live our lives as we want them, doing what we want as a career or job, hopefully, and become adults and full-blown citizens in this and many other communities. I wish to now share a quote with you by H. Jackson Brown Jr. that I find inspirational. Every person you meet knows something you don't, so learn from them. I like this quote because it is true. No matter who you meet, you can learn something from them, and in doing that, you will learn lots of life lessons. I want to wish all of you the best, and I look forward to possibly working with some of you in the future, despite us all having different career paths and opportunities. Now, welcome to the stage, our principal, Mrs. Chiquetti. Good evening. It's here, graduation day. And depending on your perspective, tonight either was a long time coming or an experience that arrived so quickly you wondered where the time go but what an experience the four years have been. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2022. This commencement signifies a victory, not only for our seniors, but for you, the parents, the teachers, and the administration of Dayton Public. We have several dignitaries with us tonight. When I call your name, please stand and be recognized representing the Board of Education, Dr. Gabrielle Pickett. <laughs> Superintendent of the Dayton City Schools, Dr. Elizabeth Lawley. <laughs> Dr. Sheila Burton, Superintendent for Student Services. <laughs> Chief of Secondary Schools, uh, Aaron Dooley. and Chief Rachel Murdoch. I want to thank you for your support and presence here today. Representing campus administration and the team that saved the day by monitoring transcripts, credits, and encouraging our students to complete their classes day in and day out are our counselors. Please stand and be recognized when I call your name. For the, for the seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, Dr. Calloway. For our junior senior class, Miss Rachel Hilton. I would also like to recognize our senior class advisors. Mr. Beck, please stand and be recognized.
And our honorary advisor this year, Mr. Ross, please stand and be recognized. At Belmont, it takes a team to run a building, especially being the district's largest high school with students representing over 26 different countries. I would not be standing here today, nor would our students, if it wasn't for the administrators I've had the privilege of working with and who stand by our side each and every day. Our seventh and eighth grade middle school principal, Mr. OJ, please stand and be recognized. Our assistant principal of the ninth, 10th grade, Mr. Kamani Smith. And our assistant principal of the 11th and 12th grade, who keeps us all on our toes, Ms. Nicole Davis. I would now like to, uh, for all Belmont teachers and staff members, if you're in the stands and sitting down, please stand up at this time. All teachers and staff members, please stand up. Students and parents, please recognize our teachers and staff members for all they do for your students. Thank you. Now, students, please stand up. Find your parents, guardians, or those who helped you get here today and wave to them and thank them. Students, please stand up and thank your parents. Thank you. It is a wonderful day, that is for sure. Students, please take your seats, and I thank you for recognizing your parents. Every class has an identity, but this class by far is the most endearing class to me as we began our journey together four years ago at the City of Belmont. I came in as your assistant principal, and you began as my freshman class, and we have grown together. The growth that has transpired by you facing many obstacles head on made you adaptable, resilient, and ultimately a better person because you now have the ability to face anything in your life that will come your way. From the various transitions you have all faced and endured throughout your high school journey, they have only strengthened you to achieve now and in the future. A graduation ceremony is always such a special occasion, the culmination of years of hard work, and today the acknowledgement of success achieved. So it is fitting tonight that we commemorate the road that we have all traveled together these last four years. It has been a journey that started with tentative steps, but one that has taken remarkable heights. I would like to take a moment and share a couple final thoughts to guide you on your journey forward. I have no fear you will be successful as you have overcome many obstacles that have been thrust at you. If anything, the past four years is a testament of that. As you move forward through life and you can live with the would've, should'ves, and could'ves, then expecting failure is always gonna be easy. Of course, none of you sitting here tonight accepted that path. You continued through it all to stay focused on your why and your purpose. You knew I was gonna fit that in there. Henry Ford wisely said, coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. As we look back over the last four years, certainly we've had our beginning we definitely had progress, and yes, those sitting here today have been successful. So keep moving forward. Remember, nobody owes you anything. What you achieve or fail to achieve in your lifetime is directly related to what you do or you fail to do. Live the life you imagine. Please do not lose that sight of that ever, and congratulations, class of 2022. <laughs>
I did that for Dr. Lolly. Now, if you would please welcome to the stage our very own valedictorian, Aaron Lucas. Hello, and good evening, everyone. My name is Aaron Lucas, and thank you all for coming to, the, to attend the graduation of 2022. I am honored to be here to speak to you all. I would like to thank my mom for putting me on this planet, because without her, I would not be here today. And I would also like to thank myself for all the work I've done to get to this point, as well as all the teachers who helped me through my high school career. We are here for the beginning of a new chapter chapter and the end of another. We have faced many challenges in reaching this point in our high school careers. We have made many friends and memories that we will continue to cherish for the rest of our lives. After four long years we have finally, of dealing with unusual events, we have finally made it to graduation. So this will serve as a final goodbye to Belmont High School. High school was like a bucket of fried chicken, warm, and inviting and a little scary to find out it's not what you expected it to be. But by the end of it, you become sad when you realize you are running out of chicken. But as they say, when one door closes, another door opens. And if another door doesn't open, make one. Now that high school is over, many of you will face many challenges in your futures. What you must remember is that you can never give up. The universe is your limit. Your life will be filled with experiences that you may or may not like. And that's okay if you work to improve your life. So I will leave you with my favorite quote by Walt Disney that I live my day to day by. Keep moving forward and may all your dreams come true for you. Thank you. Now, Ms. Chiquetti, bring on those diplomas. <laughs> To Superintendent Dr. Elizabeth Lolly and the members of the Dayton Board of Education, it is with great pleasure that I do here certify that each of these cadets of the class of 2022 have met or exceeded all Carnegie units, requirements set forth by the Dayton Public Schools and the Ohio Department of Education. Dr. Lolly, I present for your acceptance the Belmont High School class of 2022. Good evening. I would like to extend my welcome to the parents, the staff of Belmont High School, honored guests, and especially to you graduates. The past two years have truly been a challenge for each of you. You didn't get to finish your sophomore year. You were remote and without very many extra activities your junior year, and you wore a mask most of your senior year. However, each of you accepted this challenge and did what was needed to reach this day. You are prepared for whatever happens in your future because of the resiliency and commitment that you developed during your high school years. As you go forward, remember that you can do whatever you choose to do. Make good choices. Remember the values that you've learned from your family and do your best always. I wish you well as you move into your future. Congratulations and good luck. Now, as the superintendent of the Dayton Public Schools and by the power entrusted to me by the Ohio Department of Education and the Dayton Board of Education, I do by here accept these candidates for graduation and release their diplomas to be presented during this ceremony. Board member, Dr. Gabriella Pickett, it is my honor to commend to you the Belmont High School Class of 2022. Good evening. Hello to all administrators, teachers, parents, and graduates. On behalf of the Dayton Board of Education, I would like to extend my sincere congratulations to the Belmont High School Class of 2022. <laughs> Graduates, your time as students in the Dayton Public School District has come to a close. In a few minutes, 
you will walk across the stage and receive your diplomas. The road to get here has not been easy. Everyone sitting here today has faced and overcome many challenges and obstacles in order to make, make it to this ceremony. When the pandemic began in March of 2020, you were only in your second year of high school. Over the last two years, you have faced monumental change, uh, changes that most high school students did not have to deal with. From learning at home to mask and social distancing requirements, the usual high school experience came with many additional challenges to your class. However, throughout endless changes, you did not give up. You are here today because you have truly earned it. We are very proud of your determination, your resilience, and perseverance that each of you demonstrated to make it to this point. This skill will serve you well as you embark on your next journey. Whether it is entering college, joining the military, beginning a career, or taking another path, you are well prepared, and we are confident that you will succeed. I would like to take a moment to share a few highlights of the Belmont class of 2020 with you. 2022. <laughs> 23 students were awarded a Dayton Montgomery County Scholarship, which provides $5,000 for students going at a four-year college. Seniors earn a total of 118 college credits through their College Credit Plus program. 28 students earn a career credential and certifications, and seniors were awarded, awarded a total of $1.7 million in scholarships. <laughs> and now, on behalf of the Dayton Board of Education, I accept these students commended to me by the superintendent, and they shall be here forth deemed graduates of the Dayton Public Schools, and they shall be here forth bestowed with all the rights privileges and responsibilities afford, afforded to graduates of this school system. I wish you success in everything your future has in store for you. And as you move into the next chapter of your life, please remember to carry with you the skills and knowledge you took from your time as a DPS student. And please also remember that your Dayton Public School family will always be here to support you. And now, Please join me in congratulating the Belmont High School class of 2022. Aaron Lucas. John Stubb. Dean Ibrahim. Katie Sachs. <clears throat> Jasmine Martinez Perez. Haley Howard. Jalen Razor. <laughs> Caitlin Alley. Rawa Mahari. Vincent Pruitt. Farhani Mahari. Michaela Brooks. Ramadan Adim. Majid Adim. LaDiamond Anderson. 
Logan Ashurst. Jeanette Babuza. Logan Baloo Leslie. Dream Barton. Everaldo Batten Ramirez. Zabib Beckett. Mudwari Bienvenu. Timoteo Bikyambe. Leslie Bonney. Kara Bowers. Madison Boyd. Douglas Bradley. Shayla Kennedy. Isaac Karnikam. Sergio Chavez Ramirez. Lacey Chazon. Damon Cochran. Shalimar Combs. Juan Cortez. Austin Criswell. Aaron Davis. Brooklyn Davis. Marion Dawkins. Solomon Dewberry. Carlos Dominguez. Danisha Dowdell. William Dewerson. Sarah Desenge. Rahima Edwige. Gerson Escobar. Jacob Fleming. Madison Garcia. Sir Gebrasalasie. Abdul Gantawi. Edwin Gonzalez Mejia. Sarah Guffey. Aubrey Harrington. Eamon Hassan. Tasia Hayes. Isaiah Henderson. Reina Hernandez. April Hill. Brielle Hobson. Anna Holland. Elizabeth Howard. Andy Marie Hunt. Kirsten Hunter. David Innocent. 
Elisa Jackson. Eric James. Jalen Jeffrey. Kaden Johnson. Augustine Cadago. Daraj Kami. Aziki Kanya Mejigo. Jada Keeble, Sean Keller, Asme Kamis, Mackenzie Knight, Austin Cozy, Matthew Loftus. Tyler Lorenz. Daria Lutfeva. Dante Malone. Jared Maltby. August Mason. Roberto Matozo Solis. Tushabe Mbabanye. Carnesha Moore. Paul Mugwaneza. Francine Muricatete. Daisy Mindsella. Sifa Mtunga. Mahmoud Mustafa. Mariah Nagel. Sifa Naomi. Duel Navarro. Francine Nima. Blaze Nuima Gisha.
Zawadi Nando. Tyler Osterhaus. Nathan Parker. Devin Postel. Zachary Purdue. Esther Quintanilla. Jaden Razor. Elizabeth Rahima. Kayla Reese. Alanis Rivera Martinez. Destiny Ritchie. Malik Robinson. Jason Rowley. Louis Sale. Zachary Sauerland. Masha Shabani. Isa Shimiyimana. German Singh. Cameron Smith. Nolan Smith. Tanner Smith. Tiaja Smith. Sion Stevens. Scotty Stocks. Dylan Thomas. Eric Tolliver. Mason Townsend. Aaliyah Tucker. Renako Tucker. Autumn Olm. Michaela Underwood. Adrian Underwood. Tyrese Weaver. Damian Wiley. And Lalia Mbuto. Please welcome to the stage, class president, Dean Ibrahim. Yeah. 
Good evening, members of the board, Superintendent Lawley, Executive, Executive Cabinet, Principal Chiquetti, administration, teachers, parents, and family members. It is my privilege to announce the graduating class of Belmont High School, class of 2022. Graduates, please stand at this time. Please join me in moving your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations. Now please welcome to the podium, Katie Sachs. Graduates, as we end tonight's ceremony and begin the rest of our lives, the class of 2022 would like to make a pledge. Please raise your right hand. We pledge to be the best in our communities and to transform the words of yesterday into the actions of tomorrow. We pledge to remember our time at the City of Belmont with joy and to support it for years to come. We pledge to conceive, believe, and achieve new goals and to use them to improve our lives and the lives of others. We pledge to use our potential to become the compassionate, responsible, and accomplished leaders of tomorrow. Now repeat after me for the last time. We are the city of Belmont. The city of Belmont. Bison strong and built to last. Let's celebrate. 
celebrate. We're gonna have a good time tonight. Let's celebrate.